side let's see what is coming up in transpiring in your world of love um this month of june fire sign um we see blossom so i see relationship is going to be getting better um we see believe and success is going to be transpiring so if you believe that your relationship is going to be healed and we see given and receiving so what we're seeing here is um, positive alignment of energies where blossom it's about you finding out something you're trying to heal some issues with a situation with a relationship and blossom and um, um, is very good because this is about healing I see that a lot of you fire sign are giving and taking whatever the issue and the situation is there is a lot of giving and taking that is happening and transpiring so whatever the situation that is coming up I see a lot of you are going to be changing the focus of how you look at relationship and how you give and take in a relationship because the relationship is all about 50 50 I see a lot of gossip whatever is transpiring here there's a lot of gossip that is going on and the gossip has to do with um, some information is coming in that creates some sort of a gossip unexpected blessings is going to be coming in for you guys so this is good so it could be you finding out something about your partner or you finding out something about someone you're in a relationship with women 50 years and older I see that this is going to be coming up and transpiring so this is going to be good some of you um women 50 years and older could be in a relationship with someone at your work or a, a younger entrepreneur this is um, coming up some of you younger entrepreneur a blessings of this guys is coming in um divorce could be coming up for some of you whatever is transpiring I see divorce is definitely coming up for some of you um, a lot of you are going to get divorced and I see a lot of you are um, thinking about it and trying to figure it out okay I see the situation with children that is transpiring where a lot of you women are worried about your children and with this divorce that is coming up I see um, soulmates is coming up I don't know what is transpiring but this month a whole lot of people meeting their soulmates and twin flame then um, we see the energy of freedom so a lot of you fire sign are going to be free from relationship bondage from situation issues I see a lot of gossip I see finally your divorce is coming through so fire sign what a month what a month what a month so um fire sign there is a lot that is transpiring what we can see is uh, some of you are in soulmate relationship and there's a lot of gossip um whatever is transpiring you need to sometimes people just need to keep their things to themselves and speak to their angels and their guides about their relationships and what is happening unexpected um surprise is going to be bringing some of you um, housewives freedom okay unexpected uh, situation where um, all of a sudden you could be doing shopping finding out that your husband um, your ex-husband or you're separated is with someone else and that is going to give you a pull to get through this divorce so you could be shopping he could have been out of the house or you're sleeping in separate bedrooms and you're shopping you saw that he is uh, um, with someone else and move on with someone else and that is going to give you some refuge of that um, mature women I see that you're seeing a younger person okay and there could be someone else that is investigating you um, it could be that your husband know that you're seeing a younger person and there is an investigation blossom um, young uh, older women who are seeing younger men I see this relationship was gifted to you it's as if the universe realized that your husband or whatever relationship you has been in the past where there is some deceptiveness and deceptive play and what is transpiring here is that you're seeing a better situation that is coming out and this person the universe gifted you as we look we see unexpected gift a lot of you are going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate then I see the latest um, some of you ladies mature ladies that is married and is seeing a younger um, man I see that an investigation is taking place um, uh, women who are about to get divorced I see you're gonna get divorced and unexpectedly you meet your soul mate so let's go in and see very soon I see some of you are going to be meeting someone 
and this is it this is unexpectedly some of you ladies are going to be meeting your soulmate just out of nothing you could be going through some hardship divorcing and all of a sudden you meet your soulmate new love is coming in this is unexpectedly the universe is sending you this person in your life because uh, you were meant to, to be with this person I see um, you ladies that have children, however this is transpiring. Some of you mature ladies that is seeing a young man um, could be getting pregnant for this person. Unexpectedly, you find yourself pregnant because you're seeing a younger person. Heart to heart talks because I see that some of you ladies could get pregnant for a young man, but you're already married and I see you're going to be speaking to your husband about this or to um yeah how are you going to let this be but i see you're trying to figure out how you're going to be dealing with this so separation is coming up for the wallflowers whatever is transpiring i see separation um housewives are going to be separating from their husband i see they're worried worried about the kids and how it's going to be keep an open mind because it's going to be okay all right so separation from your husband is uh um like you're going to be a housewives you're going to be separated from your husband but you are going to be meeting your soulmate um um you're you deserve love you deserve better love because some of you housewife um your husband was seeing someone else and i see the separation is coming up and you're going to be um just going out shopping and meeting um crossing part with your um soulmate and that is good um re can um reconnection so a lot of you i see someone is coming back the ex is coming back there is um a reconnection that is coming in someone from the past is returning in your life this person is a soulmate and they want to reconnect with you now however this is coming up this is definitely a soulmate but you have to be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring um with this reconnection with this person be aware of what is happening and transpiring because People comes back in your life for certain reason. It is a soulmate and it is going to be good. Some of you wants freedom from a relationship, but they're saying give this relationship a chance. I don't know what is happening and transpiring, but I see that uh, they need some of you wants freedom and freedom from a relationship, but you need to give this relationship a chance. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you need to open up and give the relationship a chance, whatever is transpiring. So this is really happening and transpiring and whatever is is coming up and whatever is uh, um changing and whatever the changes is and whatever is transpiring you need to really give your relationship a chance so some of you wants to let go of a relationship and um however this is coming up and transpiring they're saying give your relationship a chance because whatever is transpiring and this is what i said um, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you are having relationship issues, just call up on divine intervention. It's just as if you feel as if someone is stabbing you in your back and said, divine universe, um, divine intervention in this situation and let people find out the truth of this issue. Bring clarity to people with the truth of this issue. And this is it. A lot of people will fight around and put hubs on people's phone in order to find out what they're doing. Actually, you are evaluating the privacy of another person because um, whether or not you're in a relationship, you don't hold a person, okay? And people who put apps on other people's phone in order to track people and find out what they're doing, it's not a healthy, it's not a healthy relationship. It is better you get out of that relationship and find someone who you are trusting of that you can think, hey, I don't have to look at this person's phone because I know this person is on top of their games. So, it's a violation. A lot of people are not aware that it's a violation to look at other people mail and it's a violation to look at people um, telephone and it is a violation, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have to, oh my God, soulmate is here again. I don't know. This this month is a, a lot of soulmate. A lot of soulmate is as if the universe is saying you deserve love. You deserve love. I see some of you... Um, soulmate double double energy of soulmate ladies and gentlemen so whatever is transpiring singles you're going to be coming up and meeting your soulmate but as i was saying is that a lot of people that in vehicles to put up and watch or your partner it is wrong it is so wrong you can also get in trouble for it because it's an invasion of someone else's privacy and when you're married to someone you don't really own that person because it is a 
um, each each and every person should have their own privacy of whatever they do because people can't just joke around with other people and that sort of a thing um, the connection that you have with your best friend you're not going to have it with your wife or husband okay um, five percent of people have that so let's see it's very soon I see very soon you're going to be hammering down a relationship where you're going to be bringing in a relationship that you wanted there's a lot of gossip that is going on and I see you're going to be putting a plop on this gossip people needs to find something to do there is too much gossip about relationship I see you're going to be ending a situation okay whatever is transpiring I see you're ending this situation um, and some of you are going to be ending a situation. Some of you are going to be doing a, um, oh, I feel, oh my God. Some of you are going to be doing an abortion because you're seeing a younger person and you got pregnant for this younger person and you're going to be doing abortion. Um, passion is coming up. Um, there is a whole lot of passion is coming up. And I see some of you are meeting someone and new love is coming in and a whole lot of passion is in this relationship. So women um, who are married, mature women who are married, you are seeing a young guy, you got pregnant, you're going to do a divorce. Um, um, you're definitely going to be doing an abortion. I see a whole lot of seductiveness that is going on, but this seductiveness is like... Um, is seductiveness with people in power however this is transparent so um you businessmen could be a, a seduced by an older person in power however this is a coming up and this is transparent so i see this sort of a situation is um transforming here and what i'm seeing is that there was um some deceptive play that was at end and i see transition is coming up separation is coming up so divorce so some of you could be separating and divorcing from a situation whoever and whatever is transpiring is for your best so um i see definitely some of your housewives that is separated or divorced you're going to be meeting your soulmate this person is letting you know how they feel they are coming in and this is going to be positive so they're letting you know wedding bells is coming up people who are in relationships soulmate relationship definitely two hearts are coming together um soulmates are coming together and wedding bells is coming together for soulmate people okay soulmate people is people from your own soul group that you have connected with in past lifetime i see separation so separation and soulmate but the soulmates are coming in and people are separating from their whole relationships and going on different parts some of you were separated and i see your partner um, wants to come back okay so some of you were separated from a, a scorpion and I see um, your partner wants to come back so I see transition transition in relationship is coming up there is no question separation but a whole lot of twin flame are finding each other and this is going to be very very good I see the end is coming up to a woman I see a divorce I see definitely an uh, abortion um you fire sign people are going to be plaguing abortion in this month uh yep um the yeah, abortion is coming up so a whole lot of you fire sign people are going to be plaguing an abortion in this month and it's because you got pregnant for a younger fella and um i see you both spoke about this and you decide to do the abortion so the ex the ending big um and it is with child abortion a lot uh, yeah and it is um older um women um and entrepreneur younger men that was you know um sleeping around and ladies um if you do this abortion you're not going to see this person anymore okay that's how men are men who plays around and especially younger men with older women that plays around um, they don't want the responsibility of this child. They want you to do the abortion. The relationship is over. Okay. If you keep the um, pregnancy, um, but the relationship is over. They want you to do the abortion because um, uh, um, this, as you do the abortion, you will not see this person anymore. Okay. And I'm telling you. So, um, and it, it is not you alone. It is most people. Um, and this is why I said instead of people are going to be going through this sort of a phase and this sort of a situation, you got to understand 
um, um, that some of you, I see you want to end a relation and free yourself. Some of you have decided to end a relationship and free yourself. It could be a soulmate relationship. Don't do it. Give this relationship a chance. New love is definitely going to be coming in and whoever is coming in is going to be very passionate. It's like a relationship that you have never felt before. Um, you ladies who are divorced or separate or singles, I see new love is coming in. Um, even if you have kids, I see someone is coming in that is going to be protecting you and your kids. Definitely, um, um, a, if you are divorced or in a divorce, it is going to be coming true. There's a lot of seductiveness that is going on. So some of you could have issues with people in power. You're trying to seduce them. It's not going to work. Okay, so um, it's, it's as if some of you were get caught doing something and you're trying to seduce these people in power. Not working. So don't even try it because you're going to get in yourself in more problems, okay? So I see that there were some issues and you're trying to seduce um, um, whoever these people are in this situation is. And you're going to be realizing that whatever is transpiring, don't do it. I see a separation and I see the end of a marriage, okay? Receiving, and some of you are going to be receiving the news that your partner wants to divorce or separate. So this is coming up. All right, so very soon I see you're um, really taking back your powers. Um, and if you were in a relationship with a um, Capricorn or a Taurus, I see you or um hammering down this relationship like you're going to say to this person we you know we have been seeing each other for quite some time um you know why not just make it um yeah make it make it work you know i see a whole lot of gossip a whole lot of gossip around maybe a capricorn or a taurus is gossiping over some of you whoever and whatever and there's a whole lot of gossip and it has to do with either you gossiping over a Capricorn or a Taurus but there is a whole lot of gossip and you're going to be hearing about this so these people could have been gossiping over you new love and passion is coming in with an Aquarian and a Gemini and this is good so an Aquarian and a Gemini some of you could be meeting an Aquarian and a Gemini and the passion is on top of the game Definitely, you older ladies could have gotten pregnant for a Capricorn or a Cancer, and this person is going to say it is better that you do an abortion. So, um, if you were seeing a young Capricorn or a young um, um, Cancer um, that you were seeing, it is good that they're going to say, um, let you know, it's better for you to do an abortion because they know that they don't want this relationship and this is why they don't want you to have this child. It was good what was going on, but um, when it comes on to children, that is a responsibility and I think that is the reason why. Um, uh, the Leos, um, the Leos, I see the Leos are trying to seduce um, someone in power or seduce a situation the Leos are in problem and I see they're trying to seduce it's not going to happen because they're going to come down harder even more harder on you they realize um, whatever the situation is Leos I see that um, you are in a legal issue and it's as if you are attractive and trying to seduce your lawyer or something but it's not gonna work because and these people are looking at you as if um, you're really sick um, and they're not saying it and whoever is helping you out as a lawyer they're they're realizing that you're a little bit off so um, if you're trying to seduce and under the Leos that is trying to seduce um, I see you Leos are dealing with some um, 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 legal issue and you're trying to seduce someone and they're going to see all half you are okay then I see um, a separation if you're in a marriage with a Aquarian or a Taurus. I see the divorce is finally um, um, a separation or divorce is coming up. Okay, separation or divorce is coming up if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian or a Taurus. It's not all of you, it's just for some of you. Okay, so I see a Pisces and a Cancer sending you a lot of love. Whatever is transpiring, if you are. 
uh, single if you just got divorced if you're separated I see a Pisces and a cancer is sending you a whole lot of love whatever the issue and the situation is a Pisces and a cancer is sending you a whole lot of love and that is good for the single people and the people who are separated or divorced now what we're seeing is wedding wedding rings a union wedding um so some of you are going to be marrying to your twin flames and um i see a whole lot of situation that is transpiring and separation is coming up if you're in a relationship with a scorpion and a cancer you are going to be separated i see a scorpion is coming back for re to reunite with you whatever is happening and transpire definitely a scorpion is coming back to reunite with you um now i see a lot of you are going to be connecting with um the pisces um the cancers and the um gemini spices cancer and gemini's i see a lot of you could be um getting married to pisces cancer and gemini so be aware of that i see an end could be coming in um um a transition some of you wants to end a relationship so um whoever is in a relationship with a pisces this relationship is going to be ending okay i think this one this person just want to be free and they're going to be ending the relationship so if you are married to a pisces or a cancer this relationship might be ending so this is um what it looks like for you guys it is uh, really a lot that is transpiring but i love the energy of the soulmate a lot of you are going to be uh, reconnecting with soulmates in your life the energy of soulmates there's a lot of gossip and the gossip um it could be gossip over um, a Capricorn and a Taurus or they could be gossiping over you guys but a lot of gossiping you guys are going to be receiving the um, receiving the message that these um, people are gossiping over you separation I see some of you were separated from a Scorpio and some of you were separated from a cancer I see they're going to be returning in your life so if you were separated from these um, scorpion and a cancer they're going to be returning there's a lot of gossip that is going on about this um scorpion and this cancer whatever the issue and the situation is and remember divine intervention because this i see like a lot of things is happening and it's happening around divine intervention and whatever is transpiring new love is coming in and this new love is passion um and this is with the right people it's with um aquarians and gemini so a lot of you are going to be connecting with the aquarians and the gemini these people are right for you i don't want to um i don't want to it, it's just that you older ladies was dating a younger man and i don't know if you're alone and you can take care of this child on your own do it and i see that he will basically do it but don't expect anything from him so um before you um take the life of another a soul um if you are on your own and you got pregnant and for this younger person it's better you keep the kid but if you are divorced i see you're going to make a decision um to take an abortion once you take this abortion you would never see this man again because this man was only there for a ride okay so be aware of that heart to heart talks i see um and I'm, I'm i'm warning you um leos because what you leos do not understand is that you're in already serious problem and i see some of you leos are in some legal issues and trying to seduce either the judge the lawyer or the people around it and they're like uh, this woman is really crazy or this person is really crazy um it's as if you don't really realize the mess that you're in um so seduction is not really going to help so leos if you're thinking about seducing um the lawyer judge or whoever around you they're looking at you as if uh, you're not even aware of the mess that you're in and um don't do it because you're just going to make yourself look very 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 crazy or just very off and um no i and, and whoever in in uh, whoever these people and the situation is that you're trying to seduce don't do it because they're not really interested in what you have to say or um to do because uh, they know exactly what has transpired and they are seeing the truth towards this deceptiveness what you have transpired so 
if you try to seduce a lawyer or a judge or whatever you're gonna get yourself in some serious more serious problems you Leo so it's only for the Leos because it is the Leos with the Libra so the Leos with the Libra is like a divorce or you're already in some serious trouble and you got caught up in a legal issue and you're trying to seduce especially you Leo man um, you are the Leo man that is coming up to seduce someone, but it's not going to happen because they know exactly what you have done and you're trying to seduce yourself to get out of a situation, but they're going to end it. Okay. Um, they're seeing, the, um, your play and they're going to end it because it's as if, um, a company has already told them what you have done. So they know you and see your game, what you're playing. So men and women, Leo men and women, um whatever this legal issue is um it's better to just um try to resolve it instead of trying to get in um um a seductive manner that you're trying to seduce um the lawyers or the people in that situation because they know you um they they have a whole lot of information on you and they are they just want to clean it up and just let it go so don't um, they're not looking for a relationship because they know that you're seducing them because you use someone else's information in order to get someone in a country you were stealing so they don't want a, a thief and they people don't people if people know what you your action and why you have come in um, an issue um, they're not going to want to have anything to do with you okay so the only person that did that is the housewife of Atlantis met that, uh, the, that the guy that she met in prison and, and and this is it people needs to have healthy relationship and need to think healthy if you are working on a case with a guy in a prison and the guy's in prison for fraud and um, a criminal hack and you're a lawyer there can't be any love for you and this person this is just BS um, you that means you're saying I agree with what you have done so this is the same thing that is coming up for you Leo's these people um, I think the world is changing and 20 years ago that would have happened but i see that people are seeing that they need more healthier relationships so um whoever you leo men or women is it is um a criminal offense and a crime why you're having this legal issue it has nothing to do with divorce and if you go and try to seduce someone they are going to cut you off at the same time so be aware i gotta go ladies and gentlemen for the rest of you you're going to be meeting your soulmate this is beautiful it's a beautiful soulmate relationship i see a lot of gossip stay away from gossip prior sign people you could be gossiping over a, a capricorn and a, a a um a capricorn and a taurus you gotta let it go um they could be gossiping over you while you could be gossiping over them for some of you because remember this is a general reading if you want to see your extended reading use the link here um use the link here to become a member and to, um subscribe here if you're becoming a member of the channel use the link for 499 because you will receive all the extended um perks okay i love you guys gotta go namaste